Welcome my students, Dr. Uwe here and today I bring you the video on extra pyramidal tracts. This is the video second from the tracts playlist. So let's begin the video of extra pyramidal tracts. So far we studies what are tracts clearly and these tracts they can be divided into two types ascending tracts and descending tracts. Ascending tracts they go towards the brain clearly while as descending tracts they start from the brain and go towards the spinal cord these descending tracts are further of two types number first type is pyramidal tracts number second type is extra pyramidal tracts clearly pyramidal tracts we studied in the previous lecture in this video we'll study about the extra pyramidal tracts and in the next lecture we will study about the ascending tracts that will complete the video of tracts. So let's begin with the extra pyramidal tracts. Extra pyramidal tracts. Extra pyramidal tracts. What what are these tracts? What is the system? This extra pyramidal tracts. This system they regulate. They regulate. They modulate. And they prepare. They prepare us for movement. They prepare for movement. Clearly, so this is the definition extra pyramidal tracts or extra pyramidal system. They regulate, they modulate, and they prepare for movement. Clearly, now moving on, this extra pyramidal tracts they are of six types. They are of six types. This extra pyramidal tracts they are of six types. Number first is rubrospinal tract. Rubro spinal tract number second tecto spinal tract tecto spinal tract number third medial reticulo spinal tract reticulo spinal tract number fourth lateral reticulo spinal tract number fifth Olivospinal tract. Number fifth, number sixth, vestibulo spinal tract. Vestibulo spinal tract. These are the six types of uh, you know these six tracts are they, they are included in extra pyramidal tracts. Extra pyramidal tracts. So it includes it includes. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the rubrospinal tract and tectospinal tract, and in the next lecture, we'll talk about these four tracts clearly. So, what are what are these six tracts? These are all extra pyramidal tracts, which are all descending tracts. That means they descend, they start in the brain and go towards the spinal cord, go towards the spinal cord. So, let's begin with these first two rubrospinal tract and tectospinal tract. So, our first tract we'll talk about here is rubro. Is rubro spinal rubro spinal tract rubro spinal tract. Let's begin. Let us begin. Number first origin. Number first origin. This rubro spinal tract it is formed by it originates from. It is formed by. It is formed by exons of red nucleus. Exons of red nucleus. Where is this red nucleus located? This red nucleus is located in midbrain. Midbrain. So this rubrospinal tract, it is formed by exons of red nucleus of midbrain. That's why rubro. Rubro means red. You know, red nucleus. Clearly. So this is the origin. This is the origin. Uh, along with the theory part, I will show you the diagram of this rubrospinal tract. Rubrospinal tract. So midbrain. I will draw midbrain. I will draw midbrain. So this is midbrain. This is midbrain. Midbrain. And this right here is red nucleus. This right here is red nucleus. 
so from the red nucleus from the red nucleus this rubrospinal tract originates this rubrospinal tract originates clearly now moving on now moving on <clears throat> now after its origin these exons this tract so these exons cross the these exons cross the midline these exons cross the midline clearly so this is the midline this is the midline of the midbrain clearly middle of midbrain so now these exons cross now these exons cross the midline so these exons they cross the midline they cross the midline this crossing is called this crossing is called ventral tegmental decussation decussation so this right here this crossing this is known as ventral tegmental decussation clearly moving forward moving forward now these tracts now these tracts descend down as these are descending tracts as rubrospinal tract is descending tract they descend down they descend down through midbrain midbrain includes pons and medulla pons and medulla clearly so, so what did we study so far they originated in the red nucleus so what is this structure right here this is the red nucleus of midbrain they originated in the red nucleus then they crossed to the opposite side uh, from the midline uh, clearly they cross the midline this crossing is called ventral tegmental decussation now they go down now they go down as these are descending tracks clearly so this structure right here that i'm making this is pons clear so this is pons so now from here they go down the pons clearly and this structure right here I'm making is medulla this structure right here is medulla so this is medulla now they go down the medulla they go down the middle they go down the middle so originate in the red nucleus of the midbrain clearly then they cross to the opposite sides then they go down pons then they go down through the middle through the middle moving forward now after the medulla they enter they these exons these tracts they enter lateral white column of spinal cord lateral white column of spinal of spinal cord clearly so now i will make the spinal cord so this is a tract now i'm making a spinal cord this right here is a spinal cord and in the spinal cord i am making white and gray matter of spinal cord so this right here the shaded portion the portion is shaded is the gray matter while the remaining while the remaining this 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 is white matter clearly so these exons they enter the lateral white column of spinal cord this part right here this this is the lateral white column of spinal cord clear so this is the lateral white column of spinal cord this is the posterior white column of spinal cord and this is this part right here is the anterior white column of spinal cord so these fibers they enter the lateral white column of spinal cord clear from lateral white column of spinal cord these fibers they enter they enter or synapse they synapse with neurons of anterior horn cells anterior horn cells clearly this gray matter this part is the posterior horn you know this is the posterior side this is the anterior horn similarly this part is the anterior horn and this part is the posterior horn 
from the lateral white column these fibers they synapse with the neurons of the anterior horn cells so from here they enter the anterior horn cells so this is the anterior horn they enter they synapse with the anterior horn cells clearly and from the anterior horn cells they go out of the spinal cord they go out of the spinal cord so this is all about the rubrospinal tract rubrospinal tract it originates in the red nucleus of the uh, midbrain then it moves to the opposite side that's called ventral tegmental decussation that it goes down the pons then it goes down the medulla then it goes down and enters into the lateral right column of the spinal cord from the lateral right column of the spinal cord it enters the anterior horn cells and from the anterior horn cells after synapsing with the anterior horn cells it moves out of the spinal cord so this is the this is the rubrospinal tract so as you can see it originated in the midbrain midbrain is upper structure and it it moved towards the spinal cord spinal cord is the lower structure so it is a descending tract it is a descending tract clear so far now we have the function what is the function of this rubrospinal tract clearly these tracts these tracts facilitate these tract facilitate flexor muscle activity muscle activity and inhibit inhibit extensor extensor muscle activity of upper limb of upper limb so what is the function of the rubrospinal tract they facilitate flexor muscles well as they inhibit extensor muscles as it is there is flexion of upper limb of upper limb why only upper limb because these axons these tracts these axons descend only to cervical regions of spinal cord only to cervical regions of spinal cord clearly that's why of upper limb not of lower limb so this is all about the rubrospinal tract rubrospinal tract i think in the next lecture i will um, i will teach you about the uh, you know uh, tectospinal tract because uh, the video will go too long thank you very much keep revising uh, before um, before that sorry uh, i will show you the diagram of the rubrospinal tract from the gray's anatomy because in the bdc there's not uh, there's not a diagram of the rubrospinal tract so i will show you the diagram of the rubrospinal tract this is the diagram of the rubrospinal tract as you can see this is the midbrain clear um it originates in the red nucleus the structure is the red nucleus clearly this is the red nucleus two red nuclei so from the red nucleus it moves to the opposite side that's called ventral tegmental decussation then it goes down the pons clearly this is the pons then it goes down the medulla clearly and from the medulla it enters the lateral white column of spinal cord and from there it enters the anterior horn cells and from there the uh, fibers move out this is the cervical um, you know cervical regions of the spinal cord so this is all about the rubrospinal tract keep revising your doctor over here thank you very much